Welcome once again to the Gaming After 40 video podcast. I'm busy working on something for an upcoming episode, so this week I'm going to fob you off with some archival footage. This is from a VHS tape mailed out bulk rate in 1997 to promote Midway's Top Gear Rally for the Nintendo 64. It says to watch this now, but that was in 1997 and Midway's no longer in business. So, here's a look at how video games were marketed in the pre-YouTube era. There are driving games, and then there are driving games. And if you're a serious gearhead, you know the difference. So slap on the chest belt, tighten your helmet, and get ready to bash your way to the head of the pack in a game that's going to change road racing as you know it. Because this is not some weenie paved road kind of event. This is Top Gear Rally, only on N64. Well, the first thing you gotta know is that rally racing is like no other kind of racing on Earth. Unlike other racing games, the terrain and road conditions in Top Gear Rally can change from smooth to roller coaster hills, from straight to hairpin curves, from pavement to dirt, and even to no road at all. But before you can master the treacherous terrain of Top Gear Rally, you need some wheels. And in this game, you build your car from the ground up. You choose the paint job, suspension, tires, handling, make and model of your car. And each choice you make will have a very definite impact on the results. So choose each one carefully, especially the paint. After all, it will be scraped onto every rock ledge for 30 miles. Looks like you're almost ready to do a little accelerator slant. But before you take off, you need to know that you can race with your choice of views in Top Gear Rally. Choose an internal view for the vomit-inducing sensation of an actual race. Choose an external view to get a wide perspective on the race and track ahead. You can also opt for a rear view mirror to see if any yahoos are trying to creep up and pass you. Head them off if you can. If they ram you from behind, it only increases your velocity and deadens theirs. Switch to competition mode in Top Gear Rally and you can crush your friends on a variety of terrains. Let them lick the dusty road off their molars as you cross the finish line. Yes, it's a beautiful thing. But remember, tears tend to short-circuit game controls. So try to play against somebody in your league. Well, now that we've gotten the side dishes out of the way, it's time to chow down on the main course, the Top Gear Rally itself. There are four choosable tracks and one hidden track that make up Top Gear Rally. But you can't just pick one. You've got to earn your way there by winning a season. And as you make your way around the world to different tracks, trust us when we tell you the roads get more difficult, your opponents get nastier, and the wrecks, they get more brutal all the time. And now for today's forecast. It might rain, it might snow, it might be foggy, it might be day or night. And the best part of it is, your visibility, traction, and ability to maneuver will all suffer because of it. So choose your cars carefully, because in bad weather, a set of grippy tires or a stiff suspension can make all the difference. Breaking the rules, it's an American tradition that goes back centuries. So, in the spirit of getting ahead, Top Gear Rally is proud to offer you a variety of shortcuts on every track to shave a little time and put you in command. Only problem is, there's no known maps of these parts. So you'll have to find them yourself, and trust us when we tell you, sometimes the best shortcuts are harder to find than a good movie on cable. Look, we know how it is. You 
probably played your share of racing games, but believe us when we tell you that in response to how lame most racing games are, Top Gear Rally was created by clutch-stripping extremists who thrive on speed, impact, and most of all, winning. So kick back and get ready for a preview of the games that will suck.